the Superman of science, and he loves to play with fire. And the things he'll do, you can do, if you so desire. Do try this at home with Mr. T. Hello, and welcome back to Do Try This at Home. I'm your host, Mr. G, and this is the show that takes ordinary household items, like this microwave and this bar of soap, and turns them into something extraordinary. Today's experiment result revolves around ivory soap and a microwave oven. You may have seen this done before. Normal bar of ivory soap. Now, ivory soap is supposed to float where other soaps sink. Ivory soap floats because it's full of little pockets of air bubbles. Now, I've got a paper plate here, and I've got my old shop microwave oven. I did a 30 second with Mr. G, which featured a microwave oven and a grape that made a big plume of plasma. Well, in that one I did a 30 second because I didn't want you trying it at home. This one, however, is fairly safe to try at home as long as you keep an eye on how long you leave the bar of soap in the microwave oven. Let's see what happens when we place a bar of ivory soap into the microwave. Let me pull you in a little bit closer and dim the lights a little. Okay, here we go. There's my remote. I lost my remote for a minute. Get that just right. Right on that. That's about perfect. There we go. Okay. Now let me dim these lights so that we can actually use the light from inside the microwave oven. I'm going to take my bar of ivory soap and I'm going to place it in the microwave oven. I don't have the turntable in there. We're going to try it with the turntable and without the turntable. I'm going to set my oven for two minutes. and hit start. Now, as you can see, the bar of soap is in the center of the microwave oven and the microwave oven is turned on. Now again, this has to be ivory soap. Uh-oh, something's starting to happen. Look at this. It's as if it's coming to life. And this is real time, folks. This is right before your eyes. No, no camera tricks, no compression of time, the real thing. Look at that. Now, I'm not going to let it go the full two minutes. You need to stop it right when that soap is expanded to a point where it looks like it's just not going to expand anymore. It's like a cloud now of ivory soap. Isn't that amazing? And it's still expanding. That's amazing. It's actually expanding toward the back now. I don't know if you can see that. It's growing out the back. We're at a minute, nine seconds left on a two-minute timer. Look at that. It's still growing. Not sure how long that will continue to grow. It looks like it's kind of coming to a stop now. Yep. So I'm going to go ahead and stop my oven. Actually, no, it's still growing out the back. I'm going to let it go a little longer. Now, there may be some oven cleanup after this. I'm not sure exactly if this is going to get sticky and stick inside there or exactly what's going to happen. But look at the size of this thing. Okay, that's long enough. Let's check it out. Look at this. Isn't that cool? Oh, wow. Look at that. A big puff of soap. That's amazing. Let me zoom us back out here. Whoops, wrong way. And let me turn the lights back on. And then we're going to give it a try with the turntable in the oven. See if that does anything different. Now this is quite warm on the bottom, so you're going to want to probably set this in your sink or something so that it doesn't burn you or burn anything else for that matter. Don't leave it in there too long. The heat of that. The heat that that attained was pretty hot. And there's our bar of soap. It actually slid off the plate. That's what's left of the bar. It's not real hot at all. It's just, just kind of sitting there. I'm going to set that up here. I'm going to open up another bar of ivory soap. I'm going to put the turntable back in the microwave. And we're going to do this again with the turntable. bar of ivory soap in the center of the turntable. Let's start again. I'll turn it on and I'll zoom in. Two minutes on the timer. Let me dim the lights. So then we're just using the light from inside the microwave. I think you'll be able to see it better and we'll zoom in now. Here we go. Zoom out a little bit more there because it was starting to 
pattern from the screen in front. Looks like my turntable is a little loose in there or something. That's what happens when you buy a microwave at a garage sale. But there it goes. It's taken off. Look at that. This one actually seems to be growing more evenly because the heat is occurring. The heat is happening more evenly because it's rotating. Look at that. Hang on a second. I'm going to try to fix that. Turn. There we go. We're going to keep it going though. There it goes. It's going some more. Look at it grow. It's amazing, isn't it? It's unbelievable. How cool is that? And this one's getting huge. Oh, it's hitting against the front. I'm gonna have to stop it. Look at this. It's gigantic. And it's really light. It's like this foam. It's almost like bubble bath. But it's kind of hard and crusty. Anyway, there we go. I'm Mr. G. See you next time on Do Try This at Home. I almost forgot. Be sure to visit the all new MrGme.com. That's www.mrgme.com. You'll be glad you came. There's a lot to do there. It's a real blast. I hope you have fun. So let's get started. I'm going to zoom you on in here, and I'm going to dim the lights a little bit so we can actually see the soap. There's a huge hair on the microwave. Let's start that over.